In just a few minutes, the Johnson City Commission will discuss an audit criticizing the Johnson City Police Department for how it recently handled sexual assault investigations. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Ansley Daniel. I'm Sarah Diamond. City Manager Kathy Ball openly said that audit was hard to digest and said the city wants to do the right thing. Now city commissioners will publicly discuss that report. The city called for the audit after a public outcry and a whistleblower report that was filed a year ago by former prosecutor Cat Dahl. An attorney with whistleblower aid says Dahl's report supports the complaint and provides clear opportunities for the city. If there has been discrimination and disparate treatment because somebody is female, that has to be addressed one way or the other. Andrew Bakai is senior counsel for whistleblower aid. He says the Daigle report's findings support former prosecutor Kat Dahl's federal complaint against JCPD. It establishes why she did it, right? It's to get again to the truth of what did or didn't happen. So that way the victims can be afforded not just justice, but you know, an opportunity for closure. But Bakai says the findings definitely merit a closer look by the appropriate federal agencies. What I found that was really disturbing in this particular report was how certain stereotypes about women and victims were affecting how the police department, how officers were handling those investigations. That alleged serial rapist Sean Williams wasn't the only suspect whose investigations may not have been conducted adequately. Could show what Bakai called a pattern and practice of discriminatory policing. Now we have multiple uh, victims and multiple um, suspects. Uh, and I do believe that this really, really couldn't change the dynamics of how, you know, how things can proceed. But Bakai also said Johnson City is due some appreciation for opening itself up to scrutiny. The day report is truly an independent report, not pulling back punches. And this is something that was commissioned by the city goes a long way. Bakai said the JCPD of the future needs to ensure one thing. That victims are protected, that victims are believed, that victims have a know that they have a place to turn to when when they have been physically assaulted. The Johnson City Commissioners meet just now that that meeting just started at six o'clock. Our digital reporter Jeff Keeling has led our coverage of this case from the very beginning. You can find his stories and much more on our website WJHL.com. Click on the news tab and then click the Sean Williams case. We may